Welcome to the WCG. It's finals time in the 2018 Australia Day T20 Big Bash. The preliminary final sees the six offenders take on inaugural winners. How's that? For a spot in the big one to play Nice Gary. It's been an impressive debut tournament so far for the six offenders who easily counted for How's That in their opening match of the tournament. But with How's That being knocked out at this stage of the tournament last season, they'll be looking to put that right. The captains are in the middle for the toss. So it'll be Jack Sullivan of the six offenders to call. He calls flats, and it is a flat. He looks towards his dugout. He looks unsure of what to do, but he eventually chooses to bowl first. So it will be the skipper, Brendan Scott, to open up the innings for How's That. He's dismissed cheaply in his last outing against Nice Gary. He'll be looking to get his side off to a great start. Here's who will face Jack Sullivan for the first delivery, who's going to go around the wicket. Sullivan comes into Scott. It's a full toss that's been put away to the boundary. That's not a great start from Jack Sullivan and the six offenders. And Scott gets off the mark with the boundary. Sullivan will bowl again around the wicket to Scott. In now it's a fuller delivery and that's a better delivery. And it's watched closely by Scott who lets that go past his off stump. Sullivan will need to get it right early on against Scott, otherwise he can do some damage in this opening over. Sullivan will come in around the wicket again. His full delivery's been driven down the ground, and that's another boundary for How's That. They're away in the opening over to a great start. Not for eight. Here's the final delivery of the opening over. Sullivan in again, it's full on the leg stump, and Scott dispatches that to the boundary. It's an expensive start for the six offenders to the prelim final, north for 12. It'll be Michael Johnson to bowl the second over for the six offenders. He'll be looking to peg this back after a great start from How's That. In now, it's a good delivery outside the off stump, and Scott defends to Sullivan. This is the big wicket that six offenders are looking for. If they don't get Scott early, he can do some damage as Johnson bowls again. And it's another great delivery, and again it's played to Sullivan on the offside for no run. Here two dot balls in a row. This is gold dust for the six offenders. Here with Johnson will continue again, and it's left outside the off stump. Three consecutive dot balls. This is a great over so far from Johnson. Has been the standout player with both bat and ball so far in the tournament for his side. Here is he'll continue to Scott again. It's a full delivery played on the leg side, and it's hit the fence and will only be one run. That's a great result again for six offenders. No wicket for 13 into the second over. And Johnson finish off what's been a brilliant over. He's only conceded the one run. Here as he comes in again to Scott over the wicket. It's a good length delivery and again Scott defends. That's a brilliant over from Johnson. It's Nathan Hancock who will bowl the third over of the innings. Into Scott's full delivery and it's a wild swing outside the off stump. That previous over from Johnson has just stemmed the flow of runs. And that's a nervous stroke. No wicket for 13 in the third over. Hancock continues to full delivery and Scott whips that off his toes. Expertly worked into the gap there from Scott and he breaks the shackles. Bought for 17. Punches it away on the Whoa. left side. She's a powerful man. That's cleared the rope, Freddie. A loose delivery there from Hancock has been punished. North for 23 now. How's that? As Nathan Hancock bowls, and that's a good reply. That seemed to zip through and hurry Scott, who was well beaten outside his off stump. North for 23 with six deliveries remaining in the innings. Nathan Hancock bowls again. It's a short delivery. It's played down the ground for four. How's that? Are in a fantastic position with one over remaining. 27 without loss as we enter the last over. It'll be bowled by Michael Johnson who bowls a full delivery. It's been smacked down the ground for six. That is a peach from Scott. He's passed Johnson in a flash. And how's that register the highest score of the competition? No wicket for 33 as Johnson will continue. 
Bowls now to Scott who hits it onto his thigh. And will scamper through for a single. Oh, it's a leg by, in fact. Still one to the score. It's north for 34 now in the last over. And the six offenders are going to have to be on their game if they're going to chase this down. Here is Johnson Bowles again to Scott. Has a swipe on it, gets a bottom edge onto his body. And it's a dot ball. Priceless dot there for six offenders. Two deliveries remaining in the innings. It's Johnson Bowles against the short delivery. He's been played for six. Scott rocks back and hits that over mid wicket. How's that? And now no wicket for 40. And they might just be out of sight. The final delivery of the innings. Here is Johnson will bowl to Scott. It's a short delivery. He plays it over his head, but it's gone over the fence. So the six offenders finish off the innings well. But they've got a mountain to climb to make their first ever grand final. It was that man again, Scott, who stood up for his side when they needed him. And how's that have made the highest tournament score in two years to finish with one for 40 in the preliminary final. The six offenders will need to pull off a big bash record chase if they're to make the grand final. Can they do it? So interestingly enough, it will be Jack Sullivan who will open the batting for the six offenders, not Michael Johnson who has been striking him brilliantly lately. This is a bold tactic from the skipper. Will it come off? Now 41 to get for the six offenders as Scott bowls to Sullivan. It's a rising delivery which beats Sullivan outside the off stump. The six offenders can seldom afford too many dot balls chasing this mammoth target. At the same time, they won't want to throw their wickets away early and build a solid base. Scott bowls again to Sullivan's full delivery and it's smacked through the covers. Well, that helps. That's a good start there from Sullivan. Positive cricket. He's got nothing to lose chasing his target. He starts with a boundary. Scott will continue over the wicket again to Sullivan. In now, it's played on the offside to Terry Thompson, who is told to hold the ball as Sullivan sneaks through for a single. North for five in the opening over, but they're going to have to find the boundary on regular occasions here, the six offenders, which is perhaps why it's a bit perplexing to see that Johnson hasn't opened up the innings, that the skipper is backing himself and hasn't started too badly, to be fair. Here is Scott Bowles again to Sullivan, who's beaten outside the off stump. He advances. It's another rising delivery from Scott, and more importantly, another dot ball. No wicket for five as Costa Sabas will bowl the second over of the innings. They're going to have to get a wriggle on here, the six offenders, as Jack will sneak through for a leg by. They desperately need boundaries, though, the six offenders. Costa Savas will bowl again to Jack Sullivan. In now, it's a full delivery. Oh, and he's hit it for six. A few more of them for the six offenders, and they're in the game. And Sullivan is taking the challenge up to Savas here. He might sense that this is the over to attack. 26 required from 10 deliveries as Terry Thompson will bowl the third over. Jack Sullivan advances and it's another dot ball. It's now 26 from 9. Yeah, you'd have to wonder why Johnson hasn't come in now. You'd think there'd be a retirement pretty soon here from Sullivan. But his main man's still in the shed. Here is Thompson will bowl again. It's a full delivery. It's hit towards Thompson who fields it. He saves the boundary. Another dot ball. And the noose tightens around the six offenders next. In fact, here is the change in batsman. It's Michael Johnson who will make his way to the crease now. Requiring 26 from eight deliveries. Has he been left with too much to do here? He'll need to go from ball one in order to get his side to the grand final. So it'll be Thompson to bowl around the wicket to Michael Johnson for his first delivery. In now, it's a short delivery and it's down the leg side and it'll be called a wide. It's boundaries or bust here for the six offenders. As Terry Thompson will bowl around the wicket to Johnson again, who plays it into the fence, but it will not get to the boundary, and it's only one run. The six offenders' hopes are quickly fading. 24 required off this final over. They'll need a miracle from here. As Sabas bowls to Johnson, who hits it straight at Scott, and Scott knows that they're just about there. Only four sixes will get them home, and that seems highly unlikely, even with Johnson at the crease. Here is Costa Savas will bowl again. It's a great delivery. Again, it can't beat Scott. And they're home. It's going to be the two previous winners of the competition who will meet in this third edition showpiece. Here is Nice Gary will take on How's That. As Johnson cannot beat Scott again. It's a third dot ball for the over. 
How's that? Fans are starting to make their voice heard in the corner there. They know they're into their second grand final. Here is Sabas will bowl again to Johnson. It's high up in the air. This will be caught. Oh, the second attempt. Scott takes it out of Sabas' hands there. But eventually he catches it and Johnson has to go. Was left with far too much to do here for his side. And Scott on the second attempt grabs it. And the party begins. So it'll be Nathan Hancock who will walk out for this final delivery with his side done. He, he's had a decent tournament himself, but he hasn't been able to get his side into their first grand final. So Costa Sabas is in to complete the formalities. It's a dot ball. And how's that move into their second grand final? So a perplexing decision not to open up with Johnson in the run chase has backfired for the six offenders. They have been hammered here in the preliminary final by how's that by a margin of 23 runs. Scott was the difference between the two sides with his innings of 39, which got how's that to that mammoth total. And the inaugural champions make their second grand final. And it's in that grand final that nice Gary awaits. Unbeaten so far in two years competition, they are gonna take some stopping. One of these sides will become the first ever two-time champion of the Big Bash. The grand final coming up next.